let's get started. Oh. 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 Ganana antva ganapati gum hava mahe kavinka vina mupamasra vastamam jesta rajam brahmanam brahmanas patana shunvan nuti visi dasadanam prano devi saraswati vaje bir vajini vati dhinama vityavata Om Ganesha Yanamaha, Om Saraswat Yanamaha, Om Sri Guru Bhion Namaha, Harihi Om Shuklam Baradaram Vishnum, Shashivarnam Chatur Bujam, Prasanna Vadanam Dhyayet, Sarva Vigno Pashantaye, Vagi Shadya Sumanasaha, Sarvarta Namupakrame, Yamnatva Krita Kritya Syuhu Tamnamami Gajananam Vakratunda Mahakaya Koti Surya Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarvakar Yeshu Sarvada Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambam Karishyami Siddhir Bhavatume Sada Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Om Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Ubhunaktu, Sahavidyang Karavavahai, Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahai. Om Shante 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 He Sadashiva Samarambham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam Brahmanandam Paramasukadam Kevalam Gnana Murtim Dvandvahatitam Gaganasadrusham Tattvamasyadilaksham Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadhi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavatitam Trigunarahitam Sadgurum Tam Namami Sadgurum Tam Namami Shrutis Prati Purananam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Pada Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharya Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krita Vande Bhagavanta Punah Punah Ishwaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Bedha Vibhagine Vyomavat Vyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Samasta Jana Kalyane Niratam Karunamayam Namami Chinmayam Devam Sadgurum Brahma Vidvaram Yasya Sannidhi Matrena Sarveshishyascha Sevakaha Karmakshetre Pravartante Chinmayam Tam Namamyaham Chinmayam Tam Namamyaham Let us do the Pratasmaranam Pratasmarami Hridisam Spuradatma Tattvam Satchit Sukham Paramaham Sagatim Turiyam Yat Swapna Jagara Sushupta Mavaiti Nityam Tad Brahmanish Kalamaham Nachabhuta Sangha
प्रातर्भजा मनसा वचसा मगम्य वाचो विभांति निखिल यदनुग्रहे नेति नेति वचन निगम अवोचु तम देव देव मज मच्युत माहुरग्र्यम प्रातर्नमा तमस परवर्कवर्णम पूर्ण सनातन पदम पुषोत्तम यस्द जगदशेषमशेषमूर्त रज्वांभुजंगमे प्रतिभासित वै रज्वांभुजंगमे प्रतिभासित वै हरिओम एवरीबाडी वेलकम बैक टू अवर वीकली वेदांत क्लासेस सी वी स्टार्टेड अवर इंक्वायरी फ्रॉम श्लोक 17 ऑनवर्ड्स देन वी केम टू द डिस्कवरी एट वर्स नंबर 24 विग्रहेंद्रिय pranadhitam hai devi said i am not this body i am not this mind we inquired where is this aham bhava coming from when we made that inquiry aham patati the aham falls the sat swarupa Atma shines. That Satchidananda, Sat Chit Ananda are not different properties of Atma. Existence is consciousness. We also analyzed that no other consciousness is required to illumine the consciousness. it is swayam prakasha just like we do not need any light source to see the sun it is swatas siddha then shloka number 24 onwards he said isha jeeva yor veshadhi bidha सत्स्वभाव वस्तु केवल ईश जीव वेशधि पिता देर सीम्स टू बी ए डिफरेंस इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द उपाधि द कंडीशनिंग एक्सेट्रा आई एम अल्पज्ञ एंड ईश्वर इज सर्वज्ञ so on and so forth we discussed that but there is only one reality sat swabhavato vastu kevalam there is only one reality with that there is no difference it is sajatiya vijatiya swagata bedha rahita atma and that is so hum the one without the second from an absolute standpoint we derive that there is no difference then the abidance of the mind in the self is achieved through karma yoga bhakti yoga ashtanga yoga and gnana yoga gnana marga so from shloka 25 onwards we are seeing that god realization is self realization being self is seeing self say in the dream let's say you are told that all your problems will end once you wake up 
once you wake up, we become the waker, no longer a dreamer. I hope you got that. Now, let us see the remaining shlokas. Give me a second. Shloka number 27. Jnana varjita agnana hi nachit. Jnana varjita agnana hi nachit. Jnana mastikim natu mantaram. Jnana varjita Agnana hi nachite, Gnana mastikim, Gnatu mantaram. Gnana varjita, Agnana hi nachite, Gnanam, Gnatum, Antaram, Vastu kim, Vastu astikim. Jnana Varjita. We have already made this type of inquiry. Vikrahendriya Pranadhita Maha. We inquired last week, who am I? What is the nature of this Atma? When we inquire, that you will know that Atma is of the nature of Chit. Chit Swarupa is Jnana Varjita. It is devoid of knowledge and ignorance. Meaning, it illumines the thought that I know and also what I don't know. It is Agnana Hina. Meaning, it is free from both Gnana and Agnana. See, Gnana here is Vritti Gnana, meaning whenever a particular thought arises in our mind, like this is a book, this is a pen, this is a pot, it is called Gatakara Vritti. When I say I don't know, that thought is blank in our mind. So, you know what you know, and we also know what you don't know. I hope you got that difference. Thought is not there without consciousness, but consciousness can be there without the thought. It is devoid of knowledge and ignorance because it illumines both. Jnana mastikim jnana mantaram. Is there another consciousness to know this consciousness? And the answer is no. It is Swayam Prakasha. It is self-shining. Just like we don't need a torchlight to see the sun outside, it is Swata Siddha. Let's go to Shloka number 28. Kim Swarupa Miti Atma Darshane Kim Swarupa Miti Atma Darshane Avyaya Bhava 
पूर्णचित सुखम अव्यया भवा पूर्णचित सुखम मम स्वरूपम किम इति आत्मदर्शने आत्मदर्शने सती अव्यय अभव अपु आपूर्ण चित सुकम अवशिष्यते देन वी स्टार्ट अवर एन्क्वायरी फर्दर किम मम स्वरूपम व्हाट इज व्हाट इज इट्स नेचर then that is atma darshanam we realize you realize bhagwan ramana maharshi says you are avyaya undecaying abhava uncreated apurna full being full from free from limitations time space and causation chit sukham that is the nature of consciousness that knowledge principle so when we inquire what is the nature of that consciousness i am sukha swarupa i am of the nature of that happiness i am the nature of that absolute happiness see whenever we say the nature of a thing is that which is not a burden to it see there are two types one is our essential nature swabhavika dharma we discussed this in the last weeks uh, q and a session as well and the other is naimittika dharma which is an acquired nature for example water is hot or we'll take coffee or tea this time it is hot because there is fire in it you allow it for some time it cools down to its natural state similarly happiness is my nature that is what shastra is telling us if sorrow were to be my nature and suddenly you are happy then you inquire where is this happiness coming from let's say like i am carrying a lunch bag on a hike in a cooler and i set it aside i was carrying it it was a burden i sit down and i eat the food that i was carrying the food becomes one with me at that time it is never a burden see we are carrying our big head on our shoulder right it is never a burden although some people say when they have a miserable headache i wish i could remove that head and keep it aside right so what is our nature happiness sukha swarupa when we become sorrow sorrowful when we become miserable when we are tense when we are anxious when we are agitated it is all acquired dharma that is always a burden sometimes people ask you know why are you so happy today that is why in nature everything in nature if it is not in its natural state it is in a state of agitation or flux until it reaches its natural state 
So happiness is that which is not dependent on anything. That is why if an object causes us agitation, we do not like it. If a person is negative or causes us misery all the time, we simply, what do we want to do? We want to avoid them. If somebody says at the body level, I am very, very fond of sweets. Says rasgulla gives me happiness. You've given 10 of those rasgullas or one full can. Later, around the eighth one, he will say it is disgusting. We all know that law of diminishing returns. I don't have to explain it. That is why Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi here is saying, Avyaya, undecaying, abhava, uncreated. See, something is bhava, means something that is created. We know that it has a beginning, it has an end. Adi and Ananta. But Atma is Ananta. No beginning, no end. It is Apurna. It is full. No limitations. Aham Sukhaswarupaha Asmi. See, there are results of actions we call. Four, four types. One is Utpadya. We can make something, create something. Correct? Karma, action, result. As a result, you have, let's say we have mud. We can create pot out of that mud pot, or let's say we have gold, we can create ornaments, bangle, necklace, etc. Right? Then there is apya, utpadya, apya, result of reaching somewhere, destination, heaven, etc. Then there is samskarya, meaning refinement. Purification, removing the impurities, refining from crude oil, we create petroleum, we create diesel, etc. That's called samskarya. Then there is vikarya. You modify something. An existing product you modify to create a new one. I modify something. From milk I make yogurt. Example. Like that, we cannot have this with Atma Vishaya, Atma. Because Atma or enlightenment is beyond those. That's why we say Atma is Nitya Shuddha Buddha Atma. Meaning, Nitya, it is eternal, it is neither created nor destroyed. Shuddha, it is ever pure, there are no impurities. I hope you got that uh, logic. Just to clarify a few points from our discussions last week, in the field of spiritual pursuit, when seekers like us use language, terminology, we use different terminology, but they all mean one and the same. For example, when we say God realization, self realization, abidance in the self, self knowledge, truth, they all mean one and the same. 
it also means that absolute happiness. When the seeker pursues the truth with a purified mind, with Vedanta Pramana, Upanishad Pramana, that Atma Vidya is realized in a language that we understand. So this happiness, this absolute happiness that I am seeking is not a byproduct of something, but it is my very own nature. That is what Shastras tell us that I am Sukhaswarupa. I am of the nature of that absolute happiness. Then someone might ask, or someone might say, I want liberation. I want moksha. Liberation from what? When you ask, from what we consider as bondage. Some people may say, I want freedom. Religious freedom, that type of bondage causes a lot of worries. Chinta, most of our worries are at our mental level. So sorrows include byproducts of all my emotions. So I want happiness, not temporary happiness. I want absolute happiness. I want unconditional happiness. Then when we start to inquire, we find that ignorance is the cause of all our problems. Ignorance of what? Ignorance of our true nature. Bondage is nothing but identification or attachment with this anatma vastu. When I detach from that, I understand that my nature is that of happiness. This is how the progression happens. See, when we understand that moksha is actually beyond bondage and liberation. We also discover the fine print that we were never bound in the first place because bondage was a notion. Remember, I have asked this question many times in our uh, collaboration. Does moksha jnana give you moksha? The simple answer is no. It tells you that you are nitya, shuddha, buddha, atma, and we were never bound in the first place. That is the point. I hope you got that. Now let's moving on to the next uh, verse. Ninth verse Banda Mukyati Tamparam Sukham Banda Mukyati Tamparam Sukham Vindati Haji was to die Vikaha Vindati Haji was to die Vikaha Daivikaha Jeevaha to Bandha Mukti Atitam Param Sukam Iha Vindati. See, previously also 
he said param sukham not conditioned by space time object etc that is param i am unconditioned i am limitless that absolute happiness i am bhagwan ramana maharshi is saying vindati while living like we say here and now vindati jeevah earlier this jeeva was considered finite mortal useless now it is considered immortal every jeeva he says can get this reach this destination but before that we have to acquire some qualifications some prerequisites just like we we'll need to study a 401 level 501 level graduate course you have to do some prerequisites this jeeva has to be endowed with some divine virtues sadhana chatushtaya sampanna adhikari we have to become a qualified student so takes us back to four d's of vedanta four d's viveka discrimination or differentiation from real and unreal nitya anitya vastu vairagya dispassion second d the third d is shama adi shatka sampatti six disciplines what are they shama dama shraddha titiksha uparati samadhana then finally mumukshutvam that burning desire for liberation easy to remember four d's of vedanta we have gone through this many times and this is what we pray when we do lakshmi puja we pray for that shama adi shatka sampatti that is the real spiritual wealth bhagwan shankaracharya ji says and bhagavad gita calls it daivi sampatti 16th chapter of bhagavad gita daivi sampad vimokshaya nibhanda yasuri mata ma shucha sampadam daivim abhijato si pandava daivikaha jeevaha tu it that gets that param sukham that is bandha mukti atitam that is the one which is beyond the realm of bondage and liberation what is this beyond because bondage was a notion that notion created my emotions and commotions in my life but liberation is real it is similar to that lady i gave you that example swakanta baranam yata that lady who thought her necklace was lost in her sleep after she came back from the party next morning she woke up her necklace was gone she thought but it was right in the back of her neck or some people keep searching for these glasses we put it on our head and we are searching everywhere else and then finally a child points it out that your glasses are right on your head that kind of discovery because it was never lost in the first place we call it in vedanta as 
प्राप्तस्य प्राप्ति ही बिकॉज इट वॉज नेवर लास्ट होप यू गैट दैट वन फाइनल श्लोक वी विल कम फॉर दिस टेक्स्ट राइट नाउ अहमपेतक निज विभानक अहमपेतक निज विभानक महदिद तपो रमण वागिन महदिद तपो रमण वागिन अहमपेतक निज विभागिन विबानक महदिद तपो रमण वागिन अहम अपेतक निज विभानक इदम महत तप इयम रमण वाग महत इदम तप दिस इज ग्रेट तप भगवान रमण महर्षि कॉल सेट अहम अपेतक दट तपस् इन विच अवर अहंकार अवर अहम भाव फॉल दैट विच इज निज विचारण नाट वांगमय तप नाट शारीरिक तप This tapas is vichara tapas. Even in Bhagavad Gita, bahavognana tapasa, purified by tapas, they have achieved. He says, and whose vakya is this? Ramana vaginam. This is told by Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi himself. You know that tapa means heat, shine, penance. This atma is tapaswarupa, the nature of the light of consciousness. You know, people uh, uh, develop ahankara because of sattvic activities also. You know, I sit for puja. i can do for 3 hours non stop i am so great this is also ahankara satvik ahankara taittiriya upanishad says tapasa brahma jignasa mundaka upanishad says yasya gnanamayam tapah because this tapas puts an end to the ahankara itself ahamayam kuto bhavati chinvatah ai patatya ham nija vicharanam remember at the beginning he was telling this story to shri muruganar to a bunch of karma kandis believe meaning they believed only in the karma portion of the vedas he started with kartaragnaya what we'll do i hope you brought that sheet that i sent that file to all of you that will help in our uh, parayana so we will today we will go we will chant all of the shlokas let's see if i can pull that up to share so that you can follow along those who forgot to open it up to ragnaya let's first chant the first 16 verses okay 
कर्तुराग्नय प्राप्यते पलम कर्म किं परम कर्म तजडम कृति महोदद पतन कारणम फलम शाश्वत गति निरोधक ईश्वरार्पित नेचया कृत चिशोधक मुक्ति साधक कायवांगमन कार्यमुतम पूजन जप चिंत क्रम जगत ईषधी युक्त सेवन अष्टमूर्ति भृदूजन उत्तमस्तवाच्चमंद चितज जप ध्यानमुतम आजधारया स्रोत सरलचित विरलत परम भेद भावना सोहमस भावना बिद पावनी मत भावशून्य सत् भावसुस्थि भावना बलाद भक्ति भक्तिम पृस्थले मन स्वस्थता क्रिया भक्ति योग निश्चित वायुरोधना लीयते मन जाल पक्षिवत रोद साधन चित्तवायवश्चिक्रियायुता शाकोर्दी शक्तिमूलक लय विनाशने उभयरोधने लयगत पुनर् नो मृत प्राणबंधना मानस एक नाशमेत्यद नष्टमानसो उत्कृष्ट योगिनः कृत्यमस्ति किम स्वस्ति यृश्यवारीत चिमात्मन चिदर्शन तत्वर्शन चिदर्शन तत्वर्शन सो इन दी सिक्सटीन वर्सेस वॉट वी सा वॉज अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द पैथ ऑफ एक्शन karma yoga in the first three shlokas bhagwan ramana maharshi gave us the secret as to how to turn karma to karma yoga a simple three point plan arpita buddhi all kartavya karmas all our obligatory duties must be done dedicated to the lord arpita buddhi then dasya buddhi performance of action as worship of the lord dasya buddhi then all karma phala whatever may be the result of the action as his prasada prasada buddhi karma done this way what it gives us is chitta shuddhi purification of mind then he started us with bhakti sadhana how to develop bhakti pujanam japa chintanam krama pujanam at the body level on the form of the lord 
Then we went through the process of the japa sadhana. It is a function of the speech on the name of the Lord. Namasmaranam. Japa's main purpose is to develop what? Chitta ekagrata. Concentration of the mind. Single pointed focus of the mind. Then we saw there are four types of japa. First one was tuti, prarthana. Then ucha japa, loud chanting. Parashruti gochara, meaning the person sitting next to me can hear. Then manda japa, swashruti gochara. Then finally, chitta jam japa, manasa japa. Each level being subtler than the other. Then this fourth level japa, the manasa japa, will slowly lead us to meditation. Dhyana muttamam. Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi then gave us two examples of contemplation. Interrupted contemplation, uninterrupted type of contemplation. Ajadaraya srotasasamam sarala chintanam viralataparam. Uninterrupted contemplation, he said, is param. Then we saw dhyana, contemplation. Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi said, meditation on the attributeless, formless Brahman, nirguna nirakara dhyana, is superior form of meditation, which we are going to start from next week. And the qualities of the Lord, Saguna Sakara Dhyana. Then he took us on the path of Ashtanga Yoga. Ashta Anga, that Yoga Bhyasa has eight limbs, he said. Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, leading to Samadhi. Here, Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi explained the usage of pranayama as a technique to do what? Controlling of the mind. Rodhanat liyate manaha. Restraining the prana as jalapakshivat, like a bird caught in the net. He gave us a technique called Prana Vikshana. Observation of breath, inhalation, exhalation, incoming, outgoing. With this Prana Vikshana, Lina Manasam. Stay with me. The mind is relatively quiet during all because all the activities have stopped. With that quiet mind. What did he say we must do? Eka chintanam. We contemplate on that one reality. Nasham eti adaha. Then the ignorance is destroyed. I gave you the example of druk drushya viveka. Drushya is aneka. Drashta is eka. Sakshi Drugeva natu drushyate. That sakshi principle that provides sentiency for these thoughts. That is the seer of the thoughts, drashta, which is never seen. That is one without the second. Ekam eva advitiyam. So when we turn our mind towards that drashta inside, that problematic mind goes away. Then, 17th 
श्लोका वर्ड्स मानसम तो किम मार्गने कृते नैवा मानसम मार्ग आर्जवार वृत्तयस्त्वहम वृत्ते माश्रिता हम वृत्तयो मनो विद्याहम मना हम आहमायम कुतो भवति चिन्वता हम आयिपतत्याहम निजविचारनम आहमिनाशबाद जहमहंतयाम स्पुरते रुद्स्वयम परमपूर्णसत इदमहम पदा अभिक्यमन वहम अहमिलीन के प्यालयसत्तयम विग्रहेंद्रिया प्राणधीतमह नाहमेकसत तज्जडम यसत सत्वभासिका चित्क्वेतरा सत्तयाहिचेत चित्तयाह्यहम् ईशजीवयोर वेशधीबिधाम सत्स्वभावतो वस्तुकेवलम् वेशहानतः स्वात्मदर्शनम् ईशदर्शनम् स्वात्मरूपतः आत्मसंस्थिति हि स्वात्मदर्शनम् ईशदर्शनम् स्वात्मरूपतः Then our quest began on the Gnana Marga, on the, to inquire on the nature of the mind. This Gnana Marga, Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi said, Marga Arjavat, a direct flight, direct path. This Anveshanam, during this we came to know Naiva Manasam. There is no such thing as mind when we started to inquire on the nature of the mind. The first principle we applied was abhadityatvam satyatvam. That which cannot be negated, that alone is real. Is this mind absolutely real? We know that the mind is not there in our deep sleep or it is partially doped in our dream state. We said, Sat asadhyam anirvachaniyam. It is neither real nor unreal. It is an illusory phenomena. It is mithya. Manasam tu kim margane krute Naiva manasam marga arjavar. Then we talked about vruttayaha manaha. Vruttayastvaham vruttima shritaha. Vruttayo mano vidyaham manaha. 18th verse. Here Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi said, he gave us a technique. To reduce the innumerable thoughts in our mind to two thoughts. Aham vritti, the I thought. Idam vritti, this thought. Aham pratyaya, idam pratyaya. Then we started our inquiry, self-inquiry into that I thought. Aham vritti. Aham ayam kuto. Havati chinvataha. 
Ayipatatyaham Nijavicharanam. Now I begin the inquiry, Aham Kuto Bhavati. Where is this I thought coming from within me? Where is this bond? It is Iti Chinvataha, the one who inquires, Aham Patati. This Aham Vritti Patati. That thought modification dies. This is, he called it as Nijavicharanam. This is self-enquiry. Ahaminasha bhajahamahantaya spurati hrutsvayam paramapurnasat. When this I thought dies, what happens? That shines forth. Spurati hrutsvayam. Svayam spurati. That Atma shines forth, that Swayam Prakasha, that self-illuminating, that Swayam Jyoti Atma, that is Paramapurnasat. When this happens, we have woken up to that absolute reality. Then we explain, explored the famous question as to who am I, Nanyar, the Upanishadic methodology of Neti Neti. Not this, not this. Vikrahendriya Pranadhitamaha Nahameka Sat Tajadam Yasat. Vikrahendriya Pranadhitamaha. I am not this body. I am not these sense organs. I am not these indriyas. I am not these organs of action. I am not these ignorance. Tamaha. I am Ekasat. That I am of the nature of that pure existence. That Shruti Pramana that tells me that I am Sat Chit Ananda Swarupa. Chit Ananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham. Then we applied all this logic. Pancha Kosha Viveka, Avastatraya Viveka, Atma Anatma Viveka, Shariratraya Viveka. You know these terms, that's why I'm using it. Avastatraya Viveka, Nitya Anitya Viveka. Then we looked at the Anubhuti of Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi himself. We eliminated that there is no second consciousness needed. Due to Chakrika Patti Dosha. It is Swatas Siddha, self illuminating, self evident. From our experience, I know that I am. That existence, if existence were to be different from consciousness, then existence would have become inert. Hence, he re emphasized the point. Sattaya hi chit, chittaya hi aham. The consciousness is existence and that existence is consciousness and that I am. Then we said, Jiva, Bereft of the conditioning, the microcosmic conditioning, minus that, Jiva is Satchitananda Swarupa, and Ishwara, minus the macrocosmic conditioning of Jagat, is Satchitananda. That is the common factor between us as Jiva, Brahma, Aikya. That consciousness principle is the common factor. That is the same. That common factor between Vyasti and Samasti. That is Satsvabhavataha. When we drop the conditioning from the point of that common factor, that reality, that one reality, Vastu Kevalam. Therefore, Self-realization 
is God realization. When the I notion of the body, the notion is given up, Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi said, pure self, which is of the nature of existence, consciousness, bliss, that is realized. Then we covered the three shlokas from today. Anavarjita agnanahi nachite jnanamastikim jnatumantaram jim swarupam iti atmadarshane avyaya bhava purnachitsukam Bandha mukyati tamparam sukam vindati haji vastu daivikaha. And finally, the last verse Ahamapetakam nijavibhanakam Mahadidam tapo. Ramana Vaginam See, this Upadesha Sara is an essence of all the four Margas. Four Yogas. You can almost call it Upanishad Sara. A text like Tattva Bodha in Vedanta gives the essence of all of the Vedanta Shastra. I consider that this is a true blessing that we were able to study this popular Vedanta text. Thanks to all of those who attended these live sessions regularly and to those who just listen to it on the YouTube recordings and your inspiring comments every week and encouragement. I really appreciate that. So, Hari Om. We will meet again next week at the same time. And we'll do the concluding verses. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinah Sarve Santu Niramayah Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Makaschid Dukkha Bhag Bhavet Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om Tatsat May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all see auspiciousness, may none suffer. Om peace, peace, peace. With that, we will conclude this text and I'll open.